Hey, I'm here with Brandon at the City Church in Kirkland, Washington. Brandon, we're going to take a little tour of what you guys got going on real Let's quick. Let's do it. So uh, over here is the beginning of your children's wing. Now I see this cool table here. So what's what's it look like here when people yeah, visit so for the first time? Really what this is is for our first time visitors. They come in and we'll have at least one or two volunteers helping out just in case there's any issues with computers. But pretty much it's just putting their information. It's our, our way of helping the kids stay safe right. with getting checked in and who's going to be checking them out, just not some random person. So this helps us get their information in. Um, prints off the kids label with their name on it and also gives the parent or whoever's dropping them off um, their checkout tag so that's they have cool. to bring that back and we match up the numbers and that's how the the kids get picked up so, so first time guests here is there a different spot for yeah. a regular and then following all the way here over on the back is we have about we have five uh, different kiosks right here and then we also have three kiosks over there oh, okay got so it. it's not as if everyone has to filter through two computers we have all these kiosks and parents can come in they put in their code get their kids print the labels off and then they just disperse from here so this is kind of like grand central everyone comes here <laughs> yeah. gets the labels so over here we have infants and toddlers uh, and we got our two-year-old classes over here and then our three-year-old class is right over there. Um, and then you see, obviously, the counters. Uh, we usually have, once again, one or two volunteers at each of these, just welcoming the parents, helping the kids get checked in, um, stuff like that. That's cool. Well, Brandon, before we head downstairs, I have to pause. This is one of my favorite things. I don't know if you can see it on the camera as much, but all these little buildings are totally sticking out. I didn't even notice it at first, but it gives such a fun dimension to the whole entryway for what you guys got going on downstairs. This is our newly redesigned uh, Space City stage. Uh, we got two windows on the sides, are primarily going to be used for puppets. Um, and then also we got three TVs up on the screen so the kids can um, either when we're doing worship, uh, they can see this up there, or if we're doing videos, they can see that as well. Uh, so it's a lot better than what it used to be. So our check, the check-in is for the five the kindergartners, and obviously you can see um, check-in and check-out. Just helps yep. us organize so everyone's not filtering through one kind of area, yeah, but they're yeah. able to come to different areas and get picked up. Uh, makes the check-in and check-out process a lot smoother. And then Obviously, we can't go back there at the moment. We got our, our uh, kids. So this is what we call Big City. And this is what I'm specifically over, which is first through fourth grade. Um, and obviously, it's open. We don't have any chairs set up. But when we first get in here, it's really cool. We have a lot of what we call different stations that they can be a part of. Yeah. We got basketball. We got video games. Um, over here, we'll have a couple tables set up with Legos and coloring. Um, hula hoops, bouncy balls. And it's a great opportunity for the kids to come into an environment where they feel welcomed and what they're used to at kind of at home. Yeah. So it's kind of a home feeling for them. So they can kind of just let the walls down, just kind of connect with our leaders. So our leaders have an opportunity to play basketball, play video games, all these different things yeah, to connect cool. with the kids. Cool. I love you guys. You've done a good job at obviously keeping the city theme, but even the art style yeah. has been real consistent. You have some cool stuff going on stage, going on on stage right here. What's this... Uh, booth thing all about? Uh, well, we've changed the name of it and it is a phone booth but we've called it the phenomenal phone booth of moolah. Phenomenal phone booth, okay, very different, yes. And so really what it is, it's kind of something we talked about earlier just about a uh, thing that we got going on in City Kids where we encourage kids to bring their Bibles and notebooks and just kind of the climax of that is we do a raffle drawing and one boy and one girl get picked, they get to go into the phenomenal phone booth of moolah Hence the name, there will be $50 of $1 bills flying around them. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be able to grab it in a certain amount of time. So it's just a great way to encourage kids to bring their Bibles and notebooks, friends, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely so, fun, memorable. Yeah. That's cool. Any other features of the stage you think are kind of neat? Yeah, our, our, the most recent that we've just added, if you look up in the buildings, um, we have flat screen TVs. You can obviously see in the yellow one because it still says Samsung. We're working on the <laughs> framing. But anyways, uh, in each of these buildings, uh, we have a software that's going to be able to run um, video up to these monitors, all four of these monitors. It can either simultaneously play the same video all the way through, so it kind of looks really cool as it's waving through, or we can send uh, individual videos to each screen. Oh, that's And cool. that's just on a push of a button. We have it back on our computer running off a certain software that we purchased. 
And then, um, so yeah, it works. It's gonna work throughout our entire service. But did they used to be puppet? They used to be things? puppet windows. Yeah, like a, uh, they used to be puppets where you just had black screen coming through. But right. I'm not much of a puppeteer. That wasn't really my thing. And so for me, I was more of an animator, illustrator, kind of that kind of side. So right. I wanted yeah. to play to my strength. And uh, so that's what sparked this whole idea. Of like, oh, I should replace it with TVs and put animated characters that interact. <laughs> All right, so where are we at right now? We are officially at the, in uh, G2. This is our fifth and sixth grade ministry. Nice. It's also one big fun party that goes on every single weekend. So this looks like the main gathering place for the so, G2. Yeah, this is where all the fifth and sixth graders will come on a weekend during the weekend services. And uh, worship team obviously is set up down there. We got the foosball table I was telling you about got moved down, but... As you can see, the same company designed um, some similar similar look with like the grade kind of going on across the bottom right, that we yeah. saw in Space City. So yeah. same company designed the same thing. So That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks again for letting us see some of the different spots of the church. You're welcome. Hey, where can people find out more about the City Church? Uh, you can look at www.thecity.org. Um, you can look at anything like that. Uh, if you needed to contact myself, you can contact me at brandon.ellis at thecity.org. And be more than welcome to answer any questions you may have or bring you to someone who knows a little bit more than me. <laughs> right, cool. So, Brandon, thanks again. We appreciate it. You're welcome.